We all crave it, that feeling of being someone's priority. We want to feel valued, seen, chosen. But what if I told you that being a priority has less to do with how others treat you and everything to do with how you see yourself? It's about embodying a sense of worth that radiates outward, naturally drawing respect and admiration. The Stoics, those ancient philosophers of wisdom and resilience, understood this principle deeply. They knew that true fulfillment doesn't come from chasing external validation, but from cultivating inner strength and self-reliance. This is where your journey to becoming a priority begins, not by demanding attention, but by commanding respect through your actions, your character, and your unwavering sense of self. It's about recognizing that your value is inherent, not conditional on someone else's opinion or affection. Stop seeking external validation. Start building inner strength. We live in a world obsessed with validation, likes, comments, swipes, it's easy to fall into the trap of seeking approval from others, especially romantic partners. But this constant need for external affirmation is a recipe for unhappiness. It makes you dependent on others for your sense of self-worth. The Stoics have a powerful antidote to this detachment. No, not emotional coldness or indifference, but a healthy separation from the outcomes you can't control. This means letting go of the need to please everyone, and accepting that you can't control how others perceive you. Remember, you are not defined by her opinions or anyone else's. When you break free from the approval trap, something incredible happens. You start living authentically, pursuing your passions and making choices that align with your values, not someone else's expectations. This inner freedom is magnetic. So, stop chasing validation. The stoic concept of detachment is often misunderstood. It's not about becoming emotionally numb or indifferent to your partner's feelings. Instead, it's about cultivating a sense of inner peace and resilience that allows you to weather the inevitable storms of any relationship. Think of it like this. Imagine a tree standing tall amidst a raging storm. The tree doesn't fight the wind, it bends with it. This is emotional detachment in action, responding to challenges with calmness and composure rather than being swept away by emotional reactivity. When you're not constantly controlled by your emotions, you're able to show up in your relationships with greater empathy, understanding, and strength. You become a source of stability and support, someone your partner can rely on. Detachment allows you to love more fully and authentically. Boundaries are not about control, they're about self-respect. They are the lines you draw to protect your time, energy, and emotional well-being. And contrary to what some may believe, setting healthy boundaries isn't selfish, it's essential for any healthy relationship. Think of boundaries as the fence around your emotional garden. They protect what's precious to you and prevent others from trampling on your needs and values. Without them, resentment can fester leading to frustration and unhappiness. Setting boundaries involves clearly communicating your limits, what you will and won't tolerate. It's about saying no without guilt when something doesn't align with your values or priorities. Remember, your boundaries teach others how to treat you. When you consistently uphold them with respect and firmness, you command respect in return. This self-respect is the foundation for a healthy and fulfilling relationship. Section 5, Actions Speak Louder. Demonstrate your worth, don't declare it. In the game of attraction, actions are the trump card. You can tell someone how much you care, how successful you are, or how much they mean to you, but it's your actions that truly speak volumes. The Stoics understood this well. They valued deeds over words, emphasizing the importance of living in accordance with your values rather than simply talking about them. Want to be seen as a priority? Act like one. Don't just say you'll be there for her, show up when she needs you. Don't just compliment her, do thoughtful things that make her feel special. Don't just tell her about your goals, pursue them with passion and dedication. Your actions are a reflection of your priorities, they demonstrate your commitment, your integrity and your true character. Actions are the currency of respect and admiration. Section 6, The Allure of Mystery. A little distance goes a long way. In a world obsessed with constant connection there's an undeniable allure to mystery. We're naturally drawn to what we don't fully understand, to what we have to earn. This principle applies powerfully in relationships. Maintaining an element of mystery in your life isn't about playing games. It's about preserving your individuality and fostering a sense of intrigue. Think of it this way. Would you be more interested in a book you've already read cover to cover, or one with a captivating synopsis that leaves you wanting more? 
The same principle applies to your relationships. Maintaining an element of mystery involves having your own life, interests, and passions outside of the relationship. This doesn't mean being secretive or playing hard to get, it's about retaining a sense of autonomy and allowing the other person to discover you gradually over time. This creates a sense of excitement and anticipation. Section 7. The Power of No Prioritizing Yourself for a More Fulfilling Life In the quest to be someone's priority, it's easy to fall into the trap of people-pleasing. We say yes to every request, make ourselves constantly available, and neglect our own needs in the process. But here's a stoic truth. You can't pour from an empty cup. Prioritizing your own well-being isn't selfish, it's essential. Learning to say no is a superpower. It's about setting healthy boundaries, protecting your time and energy, and honoring your own needs and aspirations. It's about recognizing that you can't be everything to everyone, and that's okay. When you say yes to everything, you spread yourself thin. You become resentful, exhausted, and ultimately less capable of showing up fully in your relationships. But when you prioritize your own well-being, you create a more sustainable and fulfilling life. You have more to give, more energy to invest, and more love to share. Section 8. The Reciprocity Equation. Balancing the scales in your relationships. Relationships are a two-way street. Both partners need to contribute, support each other, and prioritize the relationship for it to thrive. This isn't about keeping score, but about ensuring a healthy balance of give and take. The Stoics believed in living in accordance with nature, and in nature, there's a delicate balance to everything. The same applies to relationships. When one person consistently gives more than they receive, it creates an imbalance that can lead to resentment and dissatisfaction. Reciprocity isn't about grand gestures or keeping a mental tally of who did what, it's about the small, everyday acts of love, kindness, and consideration. It's about feeling appreciated, valued, and supported. Section 9 Reframing Rejection from Setback to Stepping Stone Rejection is an inevitable part of life, especially in the realm of romance. It can sting, bruise the ego, and leave you questioning your worth. But what if instead of viewing rejection as a failure, we saw it as a stoic opportunity for growth and self-discovery? The Stoics believed in focusing on what we could control, and we can't control how others feel or who they choose to be with. We can, however, control our reactions to rejection. Instead of dwelling on the sting, we can choose to see it as a valuable lesson, a chance to learn more about ourselves and what we're truly looking for in a partner. Rejection can highlight areas where we can grow, whether it's working on our communication skills, building our confidence, or simply refining our approach to dating. It can also serve as a redirection guiding us towards partners who are genuinely compatible with our values and aspirations. So, embrace rejection as an opportunity for growth. Section 10. The Stoic Path to Priority. Becoming the leading man in your own life. Becoming a priority in someone's life isn't about manipulation or game playing. It's about embodying a sense of self-worth that naturally commands respect and admiration. It's about becoming the leading man in your own life, the hero of your own story. The stoic path to becoming a priority is paved with self-awareness, emotional resilience, and unwavering self-respect. It's about living in alignment with your values, pursuing your passions with unwavering dedication, and setting healthy boundaries that protect your time, energy, and emotional well-being. It's about understanding that your worth is inherent, not conditional on someone else's opinion or affection. When you embody these stoic principles, you become a magnet for genuine connection, you attract partners who respect your boundaries, value your contributions, and appreciate you for the amazing man you truly are. Focus on building a life you love, filled with purpose, passion, and genuine connection.